The biggest cake in Metaverse is actually for companies working in B2C. Because Metaverse provides a transition not only from physical to virtual, but also from virtual to physical, thanks to wearable technologies. You're likely to create an intense sensory stimulation and emotion that you cannot provide in a two-dimensional environment under normal conditions. For example, when you enter a visually and experientially well-designed store in the metaverse with your avatar, you can reach a level of sensory stimulation that you can never experience while trying to buy a product from a website. For marketers, this is the key point. Activities related to the direct sale of products on all social media platforms, primarily Instagram, which we know as social commerce, will be carried out over Metaverse, which offers a three-dimensional and much richer experience area. By the end of 2021, the volume of social commerce worldwide has reached $36 billion. In this new and rich environment, when we have the opportunity to buy products not only by seeing, but by actually trying and experiencing them, it will not be surprising to see an exponential increase in the volume of the social trade. Through technologies such as virtual showrooms, fashion shows, trial rooms and smart mirrors, it's possible to quickly turn this new world into our new mass shopping channel. On the other hand, these experiences will of course not be limited to physical products. For example, Sotheby's recently announced that it has launched its own virtual art gallery in Decentraland, one of the most advanced metaverse universes available. Not only digital artworks, but also physical artworks will be presented to buyers through this gallery, and the whole system will operate over NFTs. The possibilities are unlimited, and it seems to expand even more with the development of blockchain technology on which the system is built on. So what should companies do now? Well, we still have a long way to go for the mass transition to the metaverse. For example, we need a very strong internet infrastructure, transition to 5G, access to wearable technologies such as VR or AR headsets, and similar problems. According to a study by Gartner, it is predicted that by 2026, 25% of people will spend at least one hour a day on Metaverse for work, shopping, entertainment or education. The market continues to grow and therefore opportunities cannot be missed. Bloomberg Intelligence predicts that the Metaverse market size will reach $800 billion by 2024. And associated markets are also developing rapidly. NFT market cap is over $41 billion, and in 2021, $54 billion was spent on virtual goods. Therefore, these are the key questions we try to answer for companies. When, how much, and in which area should you invest? I will be more than happy to talk about and discuss the opportunities in Metaverse with you.